welcome back. So we're in your tape success book. This time we're multiplying decimals and we're on page 45. So if you have to multiply just regular whole numbers, you do it this way. 2 times 4 is 8. Oops, let me switch to a pen here. So this is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And so my answer is 28. Sorry about the snowman there. And that's really the same thing. 2 times 14 is the same thing as 14 plus 14. So 8, 28, same answer. Now, how do you deal with a decimal, though? What if instead of 14 times 2, it's 0.14 times 2? Well, adding gives us a clue. If we, let's put this aside for just a second. If we think to ourselves, OK, 0.14 plus 0.14 gives me 0.28. Hmm, that has to be the same answer. 2 times 0.14 is the same thing as 0.14 times 14. And we notice something. What we notice is this. I count 1, 2 here to get to the decimal. And the answer is 1, 2 over here. What you have to do if you're multiplying decimals is count the spaces that you have and then do that in your final answer. You can ignore the decimal as you're multiplying, but when you finish, count the spaces and then bring it over to that spot. Let me demonstrate. So here I have no decimals. Answer, 2 times 21, 42. Now here, though, I put a point 0.2. So I count to myself 1. And I do the same thing. I start here, and I count to myself 1. My final answer, 4.2. Here, you'll notice it's 1, 2. So in my answer, which is 4,960, I come over 2. 1, 2. And I put my decimal there. Here I have 3. I have 0 0.421 times 2. My, I just ignore the decimal when I multiply. I come up to 842. Huh? And then I see that the decimal is 1, 2, 3 spots over. So I start from the left. 1, 2, 3. Final answer? 0.842. Now, what do I do if both numbers that I'm multiplying have decimals? Same thing as before, just add your result. So here I have 0.4 times 0.3, so this is 1, 2. So I start from here, 1, 2. Final answer, 0.12. 1, 2, 1, 2. Final answer, 6.24. Here, this is an interesting one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, when I do my multiplication without looking at the decimals, I come up with 220. And when I start counting, I go one, two, three. But I have four spots. No problem. Just put a zero in front of the last number and bring it over. My final answer, point. Zero, two, two, zero. So in your textbook, you've got problems like this where they give you the answer, you just have to move the decimal point over to the right spot, and then you have some problems where you're doing multiplication. So have fun.